Hi, this is Jion from Store Tools, and today we have an important video for all our Indian store owners who want to learn how to set up GST correctly on their Shopify store. Setting up GST is really crucial for your online stores and your business to be compliant with the Indian tax regulations, and we are here to guide you through the process. So let's get started. Hi, so we are now inside Shopify, and to set up your taxes, I, I imagine that you already have a list of products on your store and the products are all set up. So first go to Shopify, go to the settings section way down in the left sidebar, go find taxes and duties and click on India. So if your values, you already tried this and your values are all wrong, you can always click on reset taxes to default and that would change it to Shopify default. So first thing you want to know is what you're selling. So for the first use case, we'll imagine that you're selling something which your entire store sells the same kind of product. So you're a toy store and most of your toys are the same. So let's imagine that you're a toy store and to find the HSN and GST value for a product, you can just Google for any GST HSN lookup websites. I'm just going to use the one that Clear Tax provides. I'll link it in the description. You can go here and search for toy. And I found that there are multiple types of toys here. Let's go with musical instruments, apparatus, instruments and apparatus. Okay, reduced size models and recreational model. So I'm going to imagine that I sell a toy guitar and this would be the HSN value that I'll be using. So I'm going to copy. I'm not going to copy the HSN value. Just sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to look at the GST person that I'm using. It is 18. So I need to charge 18% for all my products. So I come back to Shopify and go here and say, see that my store is already charging 18%. But imagine that you don't have this number. Uh, I'm going to go find a product that's charging 12%, but everything is 18 now. Yeah, yeah, this one. I'm selling tricycles, scooters, and pedal cars, so my GST is 12%. So what I do is that I'd go here and say that my country tax is 6%. 6 means the half of your GST, total GST. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 and if you're obviously if your GST is 5% the half of that will be 2.5 so I'll write 2.5 here but in this case I'll be charging 6% GST and for all the states I'm going to go here and edit every one of these I'm going to say that I'm going to charge 12% GST. Scroll is actually changing the value. Yeah, I'm going to go here and say that I'm going to charge 12% GST. Okay, now imagine that I did for all of these states. There are more that I can do it on this video, but imagine that I did the same for all of the states in this list. And I am selling from Kerala. That means my <coughs> my shipment is being supplied from Kerala. So for Kerala, similar to what I did, I would go ahead there and set this GST to six percent the same as I I am offering uh, for my country and I'll call this SDST and you can, you can see that for Karnataka they're saying SDST I think I can change that back to IGST and set this to 12 same as what I'm doing uh, and for Kerala now I'm charging 6% SGST and here instead of I'm gonna do change from instead of and click on add to the federal tax. So that means for Kerala I'm charging 6% SGST as well as 6% CGST that is the country tax. And for all of the states I'm doing just IGST. And you have to do this for all the states and this is our simple use case. But there is a multiple use cases here. We know that GST is on the product and not on like this sale or the order so that means that each product will have a different gst percent if i'm i'm gonna imagine that i'm also selling this product toy balloon 
and this toy balloon gst value is 5% so what i would need to do for that would be to go here before that i'll just save close this thing go to collections create a collection and if you don't want this collection to be visible anywhere you can just deselect all or if you already have a collection for all your balloons that's fine you can use that and i'm going to choose a manual collection and i'm going to click on save so i'm going to say gst5 so i or just going to say gst5 you can choose any name you convention that you want because i'm not publishing this collection it can go anywhere and i'm going to find some products that are toy balloons these are not but you're going to find similar collection and add it to these products and these collections now this collection has these products in them and i am going to assume that these products are all 5% gst i would come back to my settings go find my taxes and duties click on india go down click on add tax override and select my gst 5 collection and going to set the country tax as 2.5 the half of 5 and click on add override what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on add another region to this override and set 5% here and this is a time consuming process you have to go state by state and click on add 5% 5% and I'm going to do it for all my states and just for Kerala because that's where I'm shipping from I'm going to change this to Kerala and going to say that my GST is 2.5 not 5 not 5 yeah so this is already the settings is all don't mind the 6% federal tax here but you can see that this already says that this is added to the federal tax federal tax is 2.5 uh similar to what settings you had on the top this is now added to the federal tax now uh you did gst 5 imagine that you have gst uh, 18 as a product now you did 12 you have 5 if you have another product that has gst 18 uh, i'm going to create a new collection just going to imagine that all my collections in my home page collection is gst 18 and i'm going to set half of that 9 and click on add over right and here as well i'm going to do one by one and say that my gst is 18 instead of 12 and go here and say that my gst is 18 instead of 12 and i'm going to do this for all the states even here i'm going to do it for all the states currently i'm not but you have to do it and for kerala which is my state the most sure is i'm going to say my gst is actually 9% half of 18 and that will be added to the federal tax don't mind the 6% here it will be just added to this 9% and that's how you set up gst and if you have the same so imagine that now that a second use case is done imagine that you have you are a clothing store and you have two different categories of clothes one is you charge 5% for the other one is you charge 12% for below 100 below 1000 above 1000 so what you need to do is you need to create two collections and set this gst up just like we did right now and you can always although shopify allows you to set these values you can always opt to not collect taxes and if you are collecting taxes or if you are not collecting taxes what you can do is you could provide them with a gst invoice uh showing them the split up even though you did not collect taxes and show taxes on checkout you could say that out of the 100 rupees that the customer will pay paid uh 8 8 rupees of that was gst and uh you show them that the said first igst or this 8 was split up into two one is cgst and the other one is sgst and to do that you need to provide a gst invoice to the client and there are multiple ways to do it and at store tools we provide an app for that and it's called jc pro invoices and reports you can play this video here to see all the features of this app but what we do essentially is that we provide if you go to apps and click on jc pro we provide customers with ease easy jst invoicing solutions so uh, we have two templates that you can start from and then we also provide jc reports for your 
stores and you can use this report to generate uh, or to file GST invoices. I mean GST, GST R1 as well as GST R3 B. It shows you the sales report, it shows you the credit notes and it shows you a summary on the next page as well. So uh, I'll link this product in our, our description but uh, that's how we use GST Pro in accordance with the uh, Shopify GST settings as well. GST Pro would act as a sort of invoice maker and Shopify GST settings would show them the, would collect the actual GST from the customers. Yeah. So that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments what you think and uh, uh, we will be making more videos like this in the future and hope uh, to see you guys there soon. Bye-bye.